Hey everybody, it's Friday, February 28th, and I'm fishing for trout today. I'm on a lake where they stock lake trout, brown trout, and rainbows too. I got here when it was still pretty dark. I got on a hump in the middle of the lake. I'm hoping to see some lake trout come around as it got light out. Um, haven't uh, haven't been convinced that I've actually seen any lake trout yet. All I have seen, for sure, is um, little pods of fish, um, pretty small fish, from 10 to over 30 feet down. Now, I'm in about 48 feet of water. And this lake actually has smelt in it, which is pretty rare. So I brought a, uh, a rod that, it's a small rod, and it has a one-pound test on it. Ugh. Well, I finally pulled something up, about a nine inch crappie. Not what I expected. That's all right. Whoop, oh, bye. Okay, this is actually getting worse. I got about a four inch perch here. Okay, I came here to catch trout, but I have to say, this is really cool. <laughs> I just iced my first smelt, and it's a good one. It's a good, oh, it smells so fresh. Uh, I forgot about that. It smells kind of fruity or like cucumbers or something. Anyway, <laughs> he's a good eight inches long. I mean, that's a good smelt. That's awesome. All right, I moved. I moved off that hump because I only saw one fish that looked big enough and and behaved the way I would expect a lake trout to. Um, caught four smelt, which I kept, and uh, two crappies and a perch, which were a complete surprise to me. Uh, I moved over here where the shoreline drops really steeply because I've always heard that lake trout will trap smelt against a, a, a wall or a steep break like that um, to try and corral them so they can so they can get a bite to eat. Um, I started about 120 feet over here and drilled my way up. Uh, I had my tip up with the minnow just a few feet under the ice and sure enough, uh, the flag went up. Um, it wasn't moving as fast as I thought it would. Uh, sometimes those lake trout will really just take off on a tear. Um, but I set the hook and felt the minnow give, uh, tear off the hook. So that was close, but uh, no fish there. So I got it reset over here. I'm sitting at about 40 feet right now. I've um, got my fingers crossed and I'm gonna eat some chicken drumsticks now if uh, the fish will let me. I guess if they don't, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> I'm moving again. That spot wasn't all I'd hoped. Not many fish down there that looked promising and those that did couldn't seal the deal. I'm trying lots of lures. Trying lots of presentations, it's just not working. I can't help but think that uh, they're maybe a little too well fed. There's just swarms and swarms of little perch. Uh, down at the bottom, up near the top, in the shallows. Oh, in the shallows it's crazy full of them. Uh, can't help but think that their tummies are full. They got all the yellow perch they can eat. fish in a couple different holes here hoping for the best here at the end of the day um, it might be better than I think uh, so far there's a lot of activity down there so we'll see I don't know if I'll catch any trout I did just pull up a nice consolation prize on my one pound test that's a 12 inch crappie Ooh, haven't caught one of those in a little while nice well that was interesting um... I thought I had a reasonable chance of catching some trout. Uh, I definitely had some good trout encounters, and it was nice to see that my tip-up uh, gamble paid off. In fact, there was another time, so twice, 
I had the flag go up. Uh, the second time, the fish took out quite a bit of line um, and left my minnow dangling uh, with, the, with just a little bit of skin hanging onto the hook. Uh, so, oh well. Um, better luck next time. And there will be a next time, I suppose. And if I can't catch uh, trout, might as well catch something interesting, like smelt. That was a first for me. You know, I was thinking, uh, I was hoping to catch a brown trout uh, through the ice, which would have been a first. But um, smelt was a nice surprise. And there are actually a lot of fish that I would like to try and catch this year for the first time, uh, including uh, brook trout, uh, warmouth, I was thinking I might like to go and try and catch yellow bass uh, down in the southern part of Minnesota. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks and months. Thanks for joining me.